round two of the Super National and Super 1600 class final is underway. Good start there from Bellamy. Great start from Volk. Not bad at all from Jason Bleasdale as they come down to the first corner. Bleasdale goes for the Joker as Bellamy leads the way then from Volk into Chesson's Drift for the first time. Nice driving from those two, keeping it clean on the opening lap. Lee Keeler has got a mirror full of Super 1600s in the form of Darren Scott over the dirt and over the mound there for Slamir Volk as he tries to put the pressure on to Paige Bellamy and tries to force her into making a mistake. We know that that BMW is very quick in a straight line. It's a bit of a boat in the corners though compared to the light and nimble Lotus Exige and as such he's not able to find his way past Bellamy coming down the hill into Paddock Bend for the first time. Samir so, Bullock picked up a five second penalty in Saturday's final for contact with Jason Bleasdale at the first turn. He'll be hoping to avoid such a penalty this time around but he doesn't want to look at the Lotus anymore. He goes into the Joker lap and whereabouts will Jason Bleasdale feed back into this it'll be close between the two of them when the jokes are played out yeah it will be but it looks like he's just going to get enough of an advantage slamir volk comes back into view then into the normal lap and he's ahead of jason bleasdale by a comfortable margin there so ultimately it cost him a bit of time bleasdale because he got stuck behind the super 1600 cars going through uh, that first lap which ultimately uh, cost a bit of time slamir volk now he's on the back of Bray lomax and gets himself ahead going up the top of the hill using the grass using every bit of track and some that he shouldn't to try and find his way back through. And now the number 60 has got a bit of clear track in front of him finally, but not for long because he's coming right up onto the back of the Vauxhall Astra of Lee Keeler. So that's not what you want on a Joker. What you want is clear track in front of you. And that's exactly what Slamir Volok doesn't have. Yeah, it seems to have panicked a bit and jokered so early on. It's a six that race that that has helped him. Lee Keeler disappearing on the to the longer route. So Volok has finally now got a bit of clear air. Darren Scott in the Super 1600 car is up the road, but Volok has been held up slightly after Joe Green, which won't help catch Paige Bellamy in the nimble little Lotus. Paige already at the top of the hill. Volok is just entering the Harry Hill, exiting Devil's Elbow. So it's going to be difficult for Volok as the Super 1600s continue to hustle Craig Lomax and Phil Chicken almost tripping over each other coming out of the elbow. Coming up the top of the hill they go then. Phil Chicken on the outside line, Craig Lomax on the inside. Brand new C1 for Lomax in 2021. Bit of contact between them on the exit of the corner as they force each other out of route. Paige Bellamy still continues to lead the way through Chesson's Drift. They're right behind Lee Keeler, that squabbling duo in the Super 1600s class. Lee making his debut in the Super National uh, category here this weekend in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship but uh, not able to find his way uh, through was Phil Chicken on, uh, on the back of uh, Craig Lomax on that occasion. Meanwhile, Slamy Volok has got a face full of Darren Scott at the top of the hill then. That's not ideal there for Volok because all the while it's doing this, he's hemorrhaging time and it's allowed that man, number 67, of Jason Bleasdale to close back up. Suddenly, the Vauxhall VX220 is onto the tail of the BMW M3 through Paddock across the big bumps as they bounce into the chicane. Darren Scott ahead of them is into the Joker Lee Keeler. The Finnandon man is into retirement, sadly, in the Vauxhall. Bay 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 Jokers. Yeah, Bay 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 is Joker. Sorry to get in front of you there. Dan Slamir Bollocks managed to make hay while the sun shines, though he's right on the back here of oh, Paige Bellamy. You know he's going to go for a move into the Devil's Elbow, but Bellamy very firmly shuts the door. We've got an absolute grandstand finish then here. We're on the penultimate lap. There's still one more lap to go here. Bleasdale sends it down the inside of Wallet. There's contact into the top of the hill. Side by side they run and Bleasdale gets ahead. They both get a tank slapper on out of the corner and he has to back down of it just Jason Bleasdale. But while they've been squabbling, it's allowed Bellamy to have a bit of a cushion in front. Page better be his escape damage and steering on the Vauxhall VX220 of Jason Bleasdale has it he was slow coming through paddock last time around they start their final lap and now that Bollock is clear of the Vauxhall VX220 he can have eyes forward locked to the rear of this Lotus Exige ahead of him he's got half a lap left to do it we know Bollock is quick the bonnet is flapping as he enters the devil's elbow he gets it sideways but he's running out of road and time here I don't think he's going to be able to do it unless he is absolutely monstrous on the exit out of the top of the hill and it's it's just going to be a little bit too little, too late. But what can you say about Paige Bellamy? Missed day one owing to engine failure. Came back strong in day two and she has been a serious competitor around the final corner and across the line there for Paige Bellamy as Bollock gets it all crossed up. Bellamy wins the Super National and Super 1600 final here for round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.